my dating and love life. Like, dang. But okay, I'll, I'll, how I knew I was ready for a dog. So listen, how did you prepare to move out at such a young age? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're finally sitting down to do a QA. and a I have Juno here with me. Um, so he'll be sitting here the whole time, but I'm finally filming a QA and a or Q&A. Uh, I think that's pretty fundamental to like, you know, having a YouTube channel just so you all can get to know me a little bit more. I know a lot of you know me from TikTok, so thank you for your support on here. Um, but we're just gonna dive into some questions that I haven't answered even on TikTok. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I have about five screenshots worth of questions I asked you guys on my Instagram story. So honestly, let's just get started. And then because I know a lot of people are interested in my glasses, they are from Warby Parker. They are in the style Kimball. A person actually said, if nobody asks, please make sure to leave the info on your glasses because I'm sick of seeing it. And I know y'all are sick of seeing it, especially on TikTok. If you know on TikTok, somebody asks where the glasses are from at least 35 times in every live and then i get a few comments under a lot of posts about where the glasses are from so yes they are from warby parker uh, pretty much all my frames are from warby parker they have the best frames in my opinion so if you're looking for some new frames go get them from warby parker i'll give a little brief intro which kind of answers some of these questions but i'm alexis uh, i'm 23 years old i'm a biopharmaceutical microbiologist uh, I like to tell people that I'm a scientist because that kind of is a mouthful and a lot of people don't know, even know what microbiology is as a whole. Um, I am from Detroit, Michigan and I moved to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania about a year and a half now for grad school initially. So honestly the first question is how was moving from your hometown to Philly? Uh, well I grew up in a very suburban neighborhood so if you know Philly you know that it's very like chaotic and just a lot of city life going on. And for me, it was completely out of the norm. Like nothing was usual about it. Uh, moving to Philly was honestly crazy. I didn't like it. I didn't like the high paced life. I didn't like how chaotic it was. There was always something going on. I also had a roommate that I didn't really like enjoy living with, to be honest with you. I like to live by myself. So I ended up um, just paying up on my lease and then moving to um, a suburban area around the greater Philadelphia area. So that's where I live now. Then just a little bit about like where I live now in the greater Philadelphia area and like the suburban area. I really do like it. It reminds me of home a lot more than Philadelphia did. Um, honestly, I have it made here and I'm super, super, super blessed. Like the apartment building I live in is beautiful. The amenities are amazing. And then just the community that I live in is incredible. Like I can walk to all the stores, all the restaurants. Uh, there's always gatherings and stuff like that in the front. So Juno and I, we get a lot of socialization out here that we did not get in Philly because I was kind of scared. Um, but yeah, where I live now is, is perfect for me. And I'm very, very, very grateful. And then another question as how did you prepare to move out at such a young age honestly it kind of just all fell together for me like i was an undergrad from 2017 to 2021 and then right after undergrad i spent the summer at home working uh, using my degree i was working as a cosmetic microbiologist um and that was really fun but then as soon as that ended grad school started so i went ahead and moved to philly so it's like i hadn't really lived at home since graduating high school if that makes sense so like as soon as i graduated high school i went to college and then i didn't really live there anymore because i was living at college and then after college you know i went back for the summer and then i moved to philly and now i'm like here so um i am 23 and i do realize that's a pretty young age but that is my moving out journey and then that's just how i'm living on my own now okay somebody asked me where did i get juno from i got juno from a small amish family in gap pennsylvania it's about 45 minutes from where I live now. Uh, I got him when he was 11 weeks old and now he's almost one. His birthday is like literally next week. It's on April 10th. Okay, so somebody asked how I knew I was ready for a dog. So listen, y'all, I did not know that I was ready. Um, like I said, I had moved from Philly to like a suburban area in Philly and I was by myself and I knew that I kind of wanted company, but I just didn't know in what form. <laughs> So I was like, maybe I'll get a dog because I do have a family dog at home. Uh, he's very old, so I never took him with me to Philly because I didn't want to put him through that and take him away from his home. So I was like, maybe I want a dog. So I started looking at puppies. I'm like, I know that if I want a dog right now in my life, since I do live in an apartment, I kind of want a mini schnauzer because I just like the way that they look so sophisticated and cute and like little eyebrows and beards and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just look into it, but I, I, I won't do it. I won't do it. Like I won't actually get the dog. So I'm like, okay, that's what I'll do. So I went online and I started looking at mini schnauzer puppies and then I came across Juno. 
and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna go look at them. I'm just gonna go look at them. I call my dad, I'm like, I'm about to go look at puppies. He like, don't get a puppy. Do not get a puppy. He, he's like, you don't have time for a puppy. I'm like, yes I do. After work, I'll be doing nothing. I'll just be chilling on the couch. Like, yes I do, I have time. So it's like, I'm just gonna go look at them. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just thinking about it. Um, so I went to go look at them and as soon as I saw the puppies, I was like, I'm so like, I have to get one. So I put a deposit down that day, y'all. I'm like, what did I do? So after I put a deposit down, I went home to think about it for a week. Mind you, deposit was non-refundable. Like I could not get my $200 back for this puppy. So I went home <laughs> to think about it for a week and I was back and forth all week. I'm like, okay, I don't want the dog. I'll just lose the $200. It is what it is. Like I'm not getting a dog. And then the next day I'm like, but bro, this will be the best thing ever. Like I can have a best friend. Like it will be the best. So I'm like, okay, I'll get the dog. Okay, I won't get the dog. I will get the dog. So I talked to my sister about it and she finally was like, just go get the dog. So I was like, Okay, fine, I'm going to get the dog. Went to go pick him up, paid the rest in cash, and I bought him home having no clue what to do. Like, me and him was just staring at each other. Like, I'm like, okay, what's next? I had no idea. So I turned to like TikTok and YouTube about training, and we picked it up immediately. He picked stuff up so fast, I cannot even explain to y'all how smart this dog is. And now he is literally the love of my life. I won't lie, I went through a phase where I had a little bit of regret surrounding actually making the decision to get a puppy because training a dog is hard work having a dog is just a lot like you just it's just a lot so i went through that phase where i kind of regretted it um but now we're in such a sweet spot and i enjoy his company so much and i know that he loves me he's literally sitting right here next to me behind me i'll show him since we are talking about juno i have to get juno for you um he is the most loving creature ever and i love him so much he is literally family now I could never even imagine my life without Juno at this point. So I'm glad that we get to be best friends for as long as he lives. Um, <laughs> so I'm super happy with my decision now. But I feel like if you think that you want a dog, keep thinking about it. And then if you have the means and the necessities and you just have the time and you're able to dedicate yourself to raising a life, then do it. It's super rewarding. Do it. But if you have doubts, um, don't do it. Trust me, don't do it. If you have doubts, don't do it because your freedom becomes sacrifice, all of it. So just think about it. And then if you still want it, do it, take the chance. And then I'll just speak a little bit to career stuff since there are some questions in here about that. And then I did go ahead and say that I'm a scientist. So um, a lot of people ask like what I do for work, how to get myself financially stable. Um, what else is in here? What do you do for a living? Stuff like that. So like I said, I am a scientist, a biopharmaceutical microbiologist. Uh, I'm not gonna divulge too much about that just cause they are, there are strict social media policies um, as it pertains to my job. So I don't wanna divulge too much, but I kind of talk about it a little bit on TikTok Live when y'all are watching me on there about the, like the day to day, just stuff, little stuff. How I chose my career, um, I've always, always, always loved science. I actually was pre-med for a while and um, I decided to switch that up just because like there are a lot of healthcare disparities that I realized that I wouldn't really be able to change and just dealing with people is not my like favorite favorite thing to do and then a lot of like you know just all the red tape in healthcare as it exists now so it's like I just really wanted the science so I'm like let me take a step back reevaluate what I actually want and that is the science so i'm like okay i'll be a scientist so i decided to just drop the healthcare portion of things and just focus on the science portion of things and now i kind of love it not even kind of love it i do love it i love science and i love what i do and i'm very blessed to be able to get to do what i do and then somebody asked me how did i get myself financially stable at my age i do recognize that i'm pretty young um but i did just take the like step by step steps process wise to just get to where I am like I went to college for four years I got the degree and then I got a job and then I got another job that just pays me higher so it's not like I intentionally plan to be financially stable at this age I mean it's amazing don't get me wrong I'm very blessed to be financially stable but I didn't know like I didn't I had no idea that I would be this financially stable at this age so it kind of just fell into place I'm thanking God for that ultimately there's somebody in the court y'all watching me uh, I'm ultimately thanking God for that, that I am able to support myself and do what I want to do when I want to do it um, because of my job. So I'm super grateful for that. How I develop my style, I kind of just, I know I like, I've always loved clothes. Like even when I was little, my mom used to always tell her clients and stuff like that, that I used to change like five or six times before I would leave the house, which was true. Like 
I always love the get outfit. I will always change my outfit if it wasn't good enough, okay? So <laughs> when I was little, I kind of, I guess I kind of got it in style back then. But how I developed it, I don't know. I kind of just knew what I liked earlier on. Like right now, I'm just wearing a gray shirt from Aritzia. But I would describe my style as like contemporary, modern, kind of basic, um, but just good pieces. Like I just love good basic pieces. And that'll lead me to the next question. Uh, somebody asked me, where do I shop? Uh, because I love your outfits from what I see on TikTok. I love Aritzia. I love Zara. I even love places like TJ Maxx if you can find some good stuff there. I don't really like to online shop just because I can't try stuff on. But I like places like H&M, Zara, Aritzia. Just little places like that that have just good quality basics that you can just layer and put on and just, you know, mix and match. Stuff like that. I'm really basic as it pertains to fashion though. Like, I just do it well, I guess. And then... Another question about my style is where did I get my jeans, like all my jeans and pants from? Pretty much all my jeans are from either Zara, Abercrombie, and then I heard American Eagle has some good jeans. So I'm actually, after I film this, I'm going to American Eagle to check out their jeans because I want to see what the hype is about. But in my opinion, Zara and Abercrombie have really, really amazing jeans. I haven't really gotten a pair of jeans from Aritzia yet. I know that they now sell uh, Levi's in Aritzia, so I might actually go check those out today while I'm in the mall. Also, somebody asked, where are my favorite places to shop for home decor? Hands down, Home Goods. Home Goods has my heart. Home Goods is the best place for pretty much every little small thing that you have going on in your home. Like every small thing that I have around here is more than likely from Home Goods. I actually do like IKEA, especially if you're like younger and you just moved out for the first time. They have some good quality pieces um, that aren't so expensive if you don't want to, you know, spin and splurge on some pieces for your first apartment or things like that. So I do love IKEA. I do love Home Goods. Home Sense is another good one. World Market is a really good store to go to for home stuff. Um, yeah, Bed Bath Beyond is nice, but I don't spend too much time or money in there. And then I also like to do a lot of DIY projects around my house. I don't know if y'all seen the frames in my living room. I actually DIY those with spackle. And then I have some canvas art in my bedroom that I actually DIY there. Somebody asked what made you want to start a YouTube channel broadly all the support on tiktok made me want to start a youtube channel like y'all was really grilling me about this youtube channel so i was like you know what that could be a good idea so i'm like i do kind of want to do that so i invested in all the equipment i went and got a new laptop because my other one was crapping out on me um bought a camera just did it all like i'm sitting here with my shooting grip pressing record as i'm shooting this but um yeah i made the investment and i really 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 like youtube like it's just so like let your shoulders down like tiktok is like you know um i don't know it's just like the whole world is on there but i know y'all on here are from there and y'all support me and then like my personal friends and my personal life and all that good stuff so it's like youtube is just like so relaxing like i don't have to try too hard like it's just nice but yeah so y'all broadly made me want to start a youtube channel but i just i've grown to enjoy it so much so hopefully you guys continue to support my journey on here and somebody asked me is my hair heat trained it pretty much is heat trained at this point uh i used to have really tight natural curls but they have loosened up a ton as i've been like straightening my hair and wearing it in a bob so it's pretty much heat trained now i can get it straight really easily uh, i'll wrap it up pretty easily so i would say yes that it is heat trained but i don't mind it i don't really wear my natural curls so much anymore uh, i've been loving my bob and wearing it straight and just in styles like this and other styles so i'm pretty happy with my hair right now but i might get it cut a little bit shorter just to get that even bob back because that look is like undefeated to me and somebody asked me how did you become a scientist so young we need tips so if you are into science and you want to go into science long term career wise and you don't want to go into healthcare i would recommend biotech biopharmaceutical world is honestly amazing if you are a biologist if you're a chemist if you're a biochemist a microbiologist whatever the realm may be i think that um a lot of people would enjoy just the field in general but if you do not like like quality control science you could also go into r d research and other labs undergraduate research labs graduate research labs whatever your heart desires i always uh ask people what they like first so like if you like research i'd say go into research as a scientist if you like stagnant more like you know um the development of research is already thought out and stuff is already in play maybe quality control would be your uh best option but it just depends on what you like I'm also open to any DMs on Instagram and TikTok. 
you have any questions about career stuff and need help in any way, if I can help you, I would be more than willing to help because uh, I know how hard it is. And I know like when you're an undergrad and you just don't know your next step and you just are trying to figure it out. So it's like, I am open to helping you all in any way that I possibly can. Okay, so somebody asked, what do you use to edit your videos on TikTok and YouTube? So, so far for TikTok, I strictly use CapCut. Uh, it's pretty much for every video I've up ever uploaded onto TikTok. And then my first three YouTube videos, I use CapCut uh, desktop version. It has served me well. It hasn't given me any problems. Uh, I feel like my editing right now is pretty basic. I do want to get to a level where I'm better. So um, honestly, what do y'all use? Like I will take any recommendations. I've heard of Final Cut Pro. I've heard uh, Flixer. That's like a... Um, a browser in browser type of editing software but i'm open to using new software but for right now i'm strictly using CapCut because it's easy honestly somebody else asked can i make a video of me doing my nails on youtube i will make a video of me doing my nails on youtube sure no problem so y'all know or at least if you follow me on tiktok you know that i love to use dip powder for my nails uh, and i do a, some cute little cute little designs on there um from dip powder so I will make a video. I'll sit down and make a video about that. Somebody asked me how do I stay positive even when going through obstacles. Honestly, y'all, I stay shielded up in prayer. I don't know if you're spiritual or religious, but I am. God is the head and center of my life, and I lead everything that I do with prayer. But regardless, I still go through obstacles. Um, so, But I just mainly be reminding myself that every day is its own day. Like, even if something is hard today, I always have tomorrow. Uh, I always journal my thoughts. I always, like get my thoughts out on paper, I go through emotions, all that good stuff, but I always remind myself that none of it, like none of it is actually permanent. And like, even if you are down and in sad times, like good is going to come, like that is guaranteed. Like if there's nothing else guaranteed, it's that good is going to come, like it will find you. At least that's the mindset that I have. So kind of that's how I stay positive, but honestly, like it's really nice having an emotional support animal like that's been nice other than that i just keep a positive mindset as much as humanly possible i speak positive words over myself um i put goodness out and i feel like i get goodness back to be honest with you then a lot of you are interested in my dating and love life like dang but okay i'll i'll answer a little bit so i'm not currently dating i actually uh, was in a relationship and uh, that broke off about a month ago so I'm just going through the phases of all that stuff and just trying to get better for the next thing to come because I uh, you know I'm ready for that and I just I'm not gonna settle so I just until somebody actually worthwhile comes along I'm not really doing anything I'm not dating I'm not really doing anything it's just me and Juno y'all like it's just me and Juno so we're gonna continue that way but um I guess when I do start I don't know if I'll divulge it to y'all or not, just cause like I am a pretty private person, but I try to be more open nowadays. So uh, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see if, if he worth it, then y'all know him obviously cause I'm probably gonna marry him, but yeah. You all have been absolutely amazing in supporting me on YouTube, TikTok, and even Instagram. So I just wanna thank you for that. I hope you enjoy the Q and A. If you have any other questions, I will get to them. Like I said, if you need any career stuff, any career help, just DM me. I'll take any questions and help you in any way that I can. I know a few people have already done that and I've tried to help in the best way possible. But yeah, if you have any questions, um, I'll try to answer anything else and I hope you guys enjoy the video and then I'll see y'all next time.